Okay, hey guys. Um, so I have had an iPhone for as long as I can remember, um, just seven years, and I didn't think I would ever change it. Um, nothing would make me change it, even though I've had it stolen like twice and lost so many and broken so many. Um, nothing would make me change. However, the past few months were really bored with it, um, and I wanted something that I could actually customize a little bit more. One of them being the Samsung Note 4. And this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made it from a normal Samsung Android phone to one that looks like a campsite and loads of other ones. So, enjoy. Hey guys, so this was the phone to begin with. It was running TouchWiz on Android Lollipop. And I literally just went into the Play Store, typed in Dodo Launcher, and downloaded it. So this is me doing it. So type in D-O-D-O-L Launcher, and then click Install, and then Open. Then it changes every single icon and don't worry because it will come up as like a regular kind of stock Android look. But when you swipe up from the bottom here, there's actually so many more you can change. So all you need to do is actually click on the theme button. So if you... Cringe, I know. But um, yeah, I always think music always goes with something. Yeah, this is the default theme. Um, I don't like it personally. I just kind of think it looks like a Moto X or an iPhone. Um, bit stock android -y. So yeah, this is me having a little look at some different ones. Um, my favorite, which is actually Starlight. So this one, as you can see, I'm just going to zoom out. You can see that all the icons are changed into kind of like a Cosmo theme. And yeah, I'm going to zoom in and just show some of the features. So my favorite is actually this. It's the clock. So I'm just going to hold down and click it. And I'll just budget up to show you guys. These are all the options you can get for the clock. So it can be analog, it can be digital, it can be in different designs and everything. My actual favorite is going to be the first, which was the written one. Yeah, you can change the transparency, you can change the color, you can change the typeface, pretty much everything. Around 30 to 40, um, I think, looks best without kind of blinding you. So yeah. So this is just a shot of all the icons. Um, not all of them you can get in the design. For example, the Instagram one. But to be honest, it's pretty cool. And it still has the out outline border in it. So that's fine, to be honest. When everything else is cool and all spacey, I can live with that. And yeah, this is just showing you the bottom tray. And I really like it. I think it's really neat. Um, and it's just kind of subtle. I think if you are really going to get into it and want to change your theme uh, on a daily basis or even like a evening or morning basis or anything like that, this theme would be awesome in the evening um, or any time when it's kind of more dusky or autumny. Okay, so this is a really cool thing that I've never actually noticed. I've only seen it on YouTubers' phones whenever they've done tutorials about themes and loaders and everything. And you click on it and I guess it pretty much just cleans your phone. It wipes any... RAM that doesn't need to be used. So right now I'm clicking it and I've got it down from 80 something percent down to 48. Um, usually it pops up with a message telling you how much RAM that's like freed up for you. Um, I remember a few days ago, I think it was, I freed up like a gig of RAM. And to be honest, when you didn't know you were using it, it's pretty cool for something to just wipe it and just free it up for you. Okay, so here I'm really going for it and I'm showing you how to change another theme. And I'm going to show you actually my favorite one. So I'm just going to flick through them all and go on to the campsite theme. And I'm going to show it to you now. It's called Forest Camp. It's awesome, I think. So the cleaner has gone from a moon to a fillet steak. And the battery bit has gone from a total eclipse moon when it's out to a dead fire. It's awesome. I think it's really cool um, and definitely really summery. Maybe it's just the countryside coming out, but um, yeah, I like it. So here I'm just going to show you how you would change an icon if you actually wanted to. So you would hold down on the icon and it will come up with a little bits. So you can just click on the icon bit and obviously here it shows all the different kind of clip art style pictures they've got that you can use. So obviously if I wanted to be really random, I can use a clock for Twitter. Um, I don't want to. I'm just going to use the typical theme icon. But on the top, it actually just shows you how to use the default one. So if you do like the normal Twitter logo and you don't want it completely different, you can change it. But this is just showing you up close and it is so detailed. Um, obviously, the screen is amazing. It's 2K, but um, on any phone, it would be really cute. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I covered at least the main bits. Uh, the main bit really is to install the loader. Once you've got that on, which for me was the Dodo launcher, once you've got that, you can pretty much change it. It's so easy. Um, obviously, making a review and kind of a tutorial how to do it, but it was, you know, if I can do it, and I've never had an Android phone before, you definitely can. But if you've got any questions or want me to try anything else out with my phone, just leave a comment. I'll get back to you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching.